Yeah, I'm loving the Lina so. as well. Every single time I see a lane dominator player with Alina in a much better matchup with good supports rotating to him, it usually does give this huge advantage. And also when you look at it, Mars and the Raid King are pretty solid at staying alone in the lane, which will allow a lot of rotations to these supports. And that early game is a problem. And also what we have seen in the previous games that Falcons won the, uh, won the early game quite heavily. And this time around, once that happens, there, there isn't a guarantee that the other side actually has a much better team fight. You can reset, re and stuff like that. Strike. And you don't want to start with the Icarus dive, anyways. Uh, but you know what? You wanna don't wanna start even more of it. Uh, Melrine first blood. Amardo didn't try to exactly. get it. I'm actually surprised that, that he tried to go for the God's rebuke. Like, why would you even try? I mean, Marlene is for me on pay like with guys like Quinn. Uh, when, when I see like Quinn get a first blood and then he's bringing an old talisman, uh, I just feel like my Pango will be like pinging on this no talisman and spamming the well played chat will. <laughs> uh, it's like he's gonna feel very bad about that one. So. Oh, professional player though, you, you have to try to hide it, right, if you're Mikey, that you're being super annoyed. Yes, I mean, you, he might not do it in, in, in the, the in this tournament begins. game, but if it was a public match, maybe he would definitely going to do it snaking. Nice take of the rune. He is probably going to die here because of it, and just runs towards the enemy so that nobody yeah. else takes any unnecessary So Mikey gets a kill on his own. No, nice. Just yep. Not the not, first not one, but... XD and a kill. Oh, uh, and Blood Grenade forced. That one they didn't use for a Phoenix so. Uh, Snake King just wanted to make it fair, right? The Malrine told him, yeah. yo, dude, I want to practice my mid lane a little bit. This is uh, this is not fair. Why did we uh, kill that Phoenix? And then, well, Snake King, he is going to be a really nice teammate and an opponent as well, now. making it even. Let's talk about the bottom lane, right? So, Minus Armor with the Skeletons versus Doom Rubik. Is Rubik a good enough support to protect Doom from this damage? I mean, could be, but I would give a slight edge to to Snaking and, and Skeeter, like, in this lane. Especially, like, the, their level 2 timing is so much stronger than the Stoic. Stoic. Uh, two more hits are needed. Uh, he gets no, into the tower, he'll be fine. Already uh, double melee. Yeah, yeah. I mean, double whenever melee. you see double melee lane, it's, it's, it's probably means some sort of shenanigans, right? And uh, Stoic almost dying once again in this game to those shenanigans. We'll be surviving for now. And Mars has 8 CS. We know that Mars has really good animation, good skills to CS, but Amar is still not missing a creep, so very nicely done. Oh, yeah, Amar is like a god of lost hidden. And like lane control. Like that's that's what him what got him like a major win. Top ATI placement, I think uh, that's one of his biggest strengths. Like every lane he gets what he wants. Like you cannot shut down this, this, this guy in the lane so easy. It does happen, but not so. Barely the lot. He's gonna die now because he really wanted both of those creeps. The range creep was being attacked and the melee creep was low. And he wanted both of those creeps, which is gonna cost him his life. Bottom so he gets the kill stun. Onto the uh, Doom. Those skeletons, they do hurt you. They hurt you so freaking much. Kachal, he's in a world of pain. Lucky for him, he has the... Uh, Cobbled creep there just to give himself a little bit of movement speed to run away. I mean, we see already power between the minus armor and the skeletons. They, they do really pack a punch. They really do. Kachal though now, he pops the... Uh... He can pop the, the Scorched Earth, wants to shove in the wave a little bit, secure himself the Flag Bearer, will be able to do so, so... Overall though, this Doom, despite taking the solid amount of damage, Malrin is low, has to be careful, but despite the Doom taking so much damage, he is CSing oh, really no. well, the best at the moment. Should be fine for both sides, but... Depending who's gonna attack first, level 3, they're gonna go still level 2. Uh, going you on see, to this, this, this harassment is just insane. He has the soul, so he'll be fine. But still keeping up the pressure on breaking and then. 
he did buy the Wraith Band to give bump. himself a little bit more armor. But the biggest difference, of course, will be in the uh, in the mid lane. And that is a bit of an issue because Mikey is the star player of Winter Bear, right? So uh, this is uh, this is not a good way to, to start off the game. In this is why I was a bit surprised with uh, Winter Bear uh, choosing oh, for the Toad Snake is gonna get gone. They're gonna try to fight it back a little. Oh, he had nine. He had nine stick charges in the fairy far, but uh, doesn't use them in time. Nicely timed by GZ. But I, I think uh, it was kind of on purpose because even though if he would survive, it would be on a sliver of HP, so he would be like kind of. Like doing nothing in the lane to help uh, break him. So better to die and have this for another life than to stay alive. Like doing nothing in the lane, basically. That makes sense. You uh, didn't. They didn't go through your regen. You're back full HP, full mana, and that level three timing that you were Aww. constantly speaking about is now there for both Avenge and the uh, and the Raid King. So they're gonna be able to apply even even more pressure. And if you're low HP and mana, then that's just not gonna be happening. So, 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 so I was surprised they took the first pick during the draft because yeah it, it gives you something but for me most importantly makes you last pick your uh, last pick uh, for the Falcons like uh, there like right who's gonna get this mid lane matchup Marlene is gonna have last pick Kachal oh, he's speedy they're gonna be a way of terror no he's gonna die anyway blood grenade right that's uh that's what gets the kill. Magic Missile onto the Rubik, who doesn't have mana for the Fade Bolt, so that's what he can't get the kill and won't, won't charge his Mikey. Dropping low, he tries with the Shield Crash, but actually misses, so no shield for you. Still does survive. Oh, Swashbuckle Stoic. onto Malreen. Here comes Stoic. Nice TP out, Malreen. He didn't use the Fairy before the TP almost cost him his life. That was real close. Nice try by Stoic. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of space for, for Mikey. Is what he does though leave reality all on his lonesome? Lucky for him, crit is pretty low in terms of HP, so he probably doesn't feel too confident coming forward. And Stoic is back to the lane, so the uh, the reality wind ranger will be fine. Mikey won't. No, he's just on the He he gives him a tip. Yeah, call your buddies. Call your buddies. You're gonna be needing more of them. At least GZ makes sure that the Arcane Room doesn't go through Selena. But now Malrin is very mad because of that. He got the Telekinesis already up, and it is gonna be the overtime damage of the Dragon Slave that actually secures the kill for Malrin. Double, just like that, on top of 35 CS. He's having a great time. Reality is also in a lot of trouble at the moment. Nice body blocks by Crit. They have the Gauze Rebuke dropping low, and the tree grab and the toss gets them to kill. Mikey rotates before level 6, trying nice to finish off the Spear. Will give it will push him away and crit left right left right he tosses him has the healing lotus uses his right up but the swashbuckle will make sure that he does go down that little bit of width increase does give Mikey the capability to land the kill still the laning phase quite heavily in favor of Falcons much needed turnaround from the top lane if they just lost Ranger for free they're already been struggling in the CS department. They they need some kills to go there and the Wind Ranger is gonna rotate bottom. Dyer's bottom tower. The breaking will be a tough not to crack, you know. And I think he was spotted there by the skeleton, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, he is he's just gonna go to the twin gate. No reality, he's he's staying. That's a level four Wind Ranger, not all that powerful. Nah, he's just gonna go. Radiant he just scanning. not in the, in the place to gank, you know, he still needs a lot of time, but coming back top, Amar is gonna be hitting level 6 fairly soon, and with the lane being so close to the tower, it could mean just a simple arena into a TP. Uh, he also got the wisdom rune for himself, so that's gonna be level 6 very, very early on to that lane. Mikey is level 6, however, which is huge crit. Avalanche into an LSA. Gonna be Laguna him, they know him. He got the shield crash off, but it's not even close. Oh, that one hurts. Not only he dies, but they're gonna clear up his stack and, uh, and 4.3 versus 2.5k. That's why you don't give a first blood to Marlene Lina. Shield rune on top of it, like... It's almost a perfection. 
is not perfect for you. 2k ahead of the enemy mid laner. 1k is already bad enough for 2k. Almost insurmountable reality. A lot of trouble. The spear will connect on the Phoenix, and that's gonna be a cue to run themselves away. Crit looking pretty much dead here. There's gonna be enough damage once the Rolling Thunder disconnect. Nice jukes by some time, but ultimately will still be going down to this rotation of Mikey, who he needs so many kills to get back into this game at the moment, Milan. Luckily for Windranger, there's no mana on Lina, so he cannot TP and he doesn't want to TP top. But once he gets mana, this Windranger, as we said, will be constant danger. Mikey, once again on a respawn, gets a gets a rotation. It's it's something, but I don't think it's 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 enough to bring them back into this laning stage. I mean, it's already Did you see... moving through. Huh? Did you see the first That's item of the Lina? What he's going for? I saw the. Oh. MKB, that's gonna be cool. Doom gonna be used on staking. At least he takes down an Observer Ward, so that's not too bad. With the Doom now, you cannot deny him, so everybody is just gonna forget about snaking. And the first Doom will be successful, while in reality, that's a much bigger... Because he's trying to kill Mar dodges the spear! Ooh, nice attempt there. But Swashbuckle Mikey comes over to clean up house. Amar will pay for his sins. Crit might be in some trouble as well. Has the sticks, wants to toss away Mikey. Will just decide to go for the creep wave himself. I mean, every time they, they get aggressive top, Mikey is there to, to like, uh, turn it back around a little bit. And it, it really helps with his network. You know, Wind Ranger is very low. Crit is gonna be dying here to start. All nice. these little ki kills, like little kills, I mean, they killed the Amar Mar, so it's not, it's not so little. They, they all add up into them being only 1k down. And after, like, like, as you said, like, sort of a rough one. So there's a top net to charge Amar kills Kachal on the bottom lane with the arena, but snaking is dying from somewhere. Here comes the shield craft and the connection. Actually, they wanted the Lina because they might not be getting anybody snaking. He dodges it, Mikey. Your greed will hurt you so much. And Lina, so much attack speed, no reason to even use the egg. You would die in a second of using it just like that. Oh. Now, also tossed towards Mikey. There will be a Laguna Blade. He gets himself to the high ground, might be enough to survive. Juking around the trees, he doesn't know where to go. What am I to do? You are just going to die to the Malarine Lina another double kill for him with Jeezy getting hit by a G slow down to another him. toss is coming in Malarine says no I am not going to a tier 2 I want this tower I want to farm and continue my gameplay Malarine I didn't expect this from him he is usually a very brave young lad uh, I mean he, he's, he's working on the claim and that would be maybe a bit too much he gets the tower and with this DD and this double kill, he's, I don't know, what, is this gonna be a record time MKB ever? Like... Uh, do we have a stats guy? Production, please find us a stats guy, we wanna know. I mean, I I, I cannot imagine any other guy ever having, like, a faster MKB. It's, it's literally gonna be like a 30 minute MKB. Like, I play Dota for... For pro Dota plus Dota 1 since 2006 for like maybe like 60, 18 years right now and I have, I have never seen Pasta 1. Like all my games are fun. And you're no games, nobody's buying it, but Malreen is a god. Uh, Skitter will be rotating as well, wants the tower, they get the stun onto the Windranger Amar. He doesn't get the spear off, could have went for the arena there. Mikey is in the vicinity protecting his Wind Ranger, and now Snaking is eating the focus hard with Amar coming forward. Reality is gonna get speared to the edge of the arena. The damage isn't gonna be enough. Sunray healing reality, enough to be able to survive that one while Amar has. 13 wand charges, doesn't look like he's getting out of this one alive. We'll just run to the other side, not even use the wand, and give space for his team to escape. A little bit of hesitation for Amar there, and he's not only gonna pay with his life, but he's also gonna let the Wind Ranger live. Any, anyhow, a, any of these victories for, for Winter Bears are coming at some price, you know? That's just bounty. For sure, for sure. But they didn't lose the tower plane which is still fine this wind ranger however is is definitely not fine cores of the top lane are really struggling but the mars he still has his spells wind ranger is gonna need some time to get to that maelstrom and really start farming because uh you're already dealing with an mkb so not only are you having a bad game you have been heavily countered already 12 minute mkb man oh, i cannot get get around it you know my brain is just it's lagging top lane that's all 
gets the doom off before the spear is there again a little bit of a hesitation from Amar though getting the doom out it might be even better than getting the kill as uh, Lina yeah. coming forward there's that MKB we see how much damage it's gonna be able to do stoic is no more Avalanche. Yes, I mean, a little big GZ. It's gonna be stolen. The Avalanche gets it off, reduces the damage of the lineup, but it doesn't matter. It's still gonna be way too much. Marie with another double kill. Mikey has to go for the roll to get himself out of this extremely bad situation. Swashbuckler just to do as much as he can before he goes down. He saw a potential kill on snaking, and that is a consolation prize, but a triple kill for Malrin, continuing to be the top dog of the map. Gets the snaking there, but they're not gonna mind. Triple kill for Marlene. I mean, we 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 kind of tunnel vision Gaia's about this OMKB oh, against attack. Wind Ranger or not, but it, it works against every single hero on the map. You know, it, it deals so much damage. It's just does this? It's just way too early, and, and he's completely demolishing the map, and he's gonna get haste on top of it. I don't know, like. Uh, <laughs> He has most Not kills, fair. most CS, most net worth, and all three of the cores are, of Falcons are topping the net worth chart that we're gonna be seeing on our screen uh, very shortly there as Malri now even has the haste through, so good luck escaping this guy. Avalanche, GZ, fall off right clicks, just three of them are gonna be enough. Crit actually takes it, he, he does deserve it. Secure it. Uh, who made it happen. So what's next now? With, with the Lina being so farmed, what, what's the play for the other team? How do you even dodge him or maybe kill him before he gets his BKD? Is that a possibility? I mean, it's, it's it usually is, but there is a swap, so they'll need to work really hard. If he makes a slight mistake in like positioning and they have like like four heroes ready with the Doom and Rolling Thunder, they can still do it. Radiance but middle tower is under attack. it will still require Marlene to do mistake. And once he gets a BKB, it will almost be impossible. So Winter Bear, they wanna they want they, they wanna make a play as soon as possible. Although they have like a Doom and Marlene and Falcons, they just wanna you know disciplinely look for casual plays, keep farming, and once they have BKB, I think they'll they'll push for even more objectives. See if uh, that's gonna happen. I guess once you get the BKB, you can just walk into the pit. Like, though, if we look at it, Winter Bear, if there's one thing that their lineup is really good at, that's fighting around those with the Pango and the Phoenix, there you can actually hide the egg properly so that the Lina cannot kill it. Uh, can you, man? Like, with, with, with BKB uh... Uh, and, and so many levels. Like he probably will get because it's not level two egg. Level two egg, I, I I could think like can be played around, but level one egg still will die always. Because right, the, the change to the doom is is a huge. Like he's gonna even if he gets doom free BKB, he can still press it, and by pressing it, he will be immortal. Dire. Pretty immortal for sure, especially when you have a Vengeful Spirit behind you, Tier 2 Tower already being pressured Falcons. One thing that I've seen this team do much better than the other teams is forcing the enemies into a reaction, and that's exactly what they did there. They get all five of the enemy heroes together. The thing is, you're just so weak at the moment, if you're a Winter Bear, that you're not going to go for a fight. I mean, yes, they need to fight right now, but... It's it's really complicated, and uh, like just the the formation, these tier one teams like falls, but they just simply farming the map. It just makes it so difficult to get like a like a big win. You know, they might get one one support kill, maybe even one core kill, but like get like a big win is almost impossible. No blink dagger on the doom. He only has the Shiva stake. He breaks the smoke. Okay, you get a position five. Actually, Swashbuckle misses. Doesn't matter. Damage is still gonna be sufficient to finish him off. Yeah, this is what we talk about. They had five minutes move to a snake while Lina breaking and Martha farming. You need bigger things. Need much bigger things. Skitter, however, he is getting towards his radiance. That's gonna be another big timing for the side of Falcons and. Uh, uh, Amar, well, he has a blink dagger on his Mars and is actually looking towards the ether lens. So is that is that gonna be something that he commits to, or do you think Amar changes his mind? 
I don't man. I, 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 I stopped a long time ago trying to understand them more. But we'll see. Catch all? Gonna catch the crit? Yeah, slowing him down with the Shiva. They have the Doom. He doesn't know if it's the best target, especially with the Mars in the back with the spear just to cover for him. So Crit will get himself out. You did spot the Blink Dagger on the Tiny, so that's somewhat of a win, but there will be a big loss with the Rose dropping down, and that's gonna be Aegis for him. I mean, you already had issues killing him. Avalanche toss. GZ, a little bit too deep in enemy territory. He was spotted by that ward trying to run away and get his taken down. With Marine now having two lives and a nine second BK. KB. Radiance bottom He's uh, only is getting attack. worse, man. BKB into the ages and he's probably closing on a third luxury item. Uh, I don't know, like Radiance middle This guy is like attack. he's playing a pitch perfect game. This is, this is like this is like Insane. And he didn't even want to overextend, actually ran away from his own teammate. His own teammates have tried to sabotage him, right? In the <laughs> in the first blood, Mars tried to get the kill for himself, but uh, was a little bit too late with the gods review. And then Crit wanted to toss him into tier 2, and it doesn't matter. 1 versus 9, Malreen can still do it. I think it's only fair for the enemies that his teammates try to sabotage him once he's on fire. Grandmaster Lina. Guess the top tower now, they're gonna try to control top and midway for a moment and after the lanes push in, they will try to sweep them up and look for, for even more pressure on, on onto the enemy. Smoke? They should be smoking in a moment. Yeah. Lina is super low mana. We'll see if he does do Radiant's it. Windranger thinking about the Blink Dagger, but we'll swap it out to a BKB. Rubik did steal the Dragon Slave, so that's gonna be nice in shoving out the ways, but really deep vision from Falcons. They, uh, they see pretty much everything on the map and can hunt whoever they want. Luckily for reality, he's in a position where you don't really expect him. You don't know where he is on the map going for his farm. Avalanche onto the uh, Phoenix, toss in Whoa. the back, nice done, beautifully played, usually you toss it to heroes and then it's much easier to connect, but this is uh, a little bit showing off for Falcons. Style points, I mean, they do it perfectly, almost like for a pixel. Kachal is also gonna get caught to be too quick kill. This is, what the, this is what they want on the side of the Falcons, they want these casual plays, you know? they don't wanna use... Oh? Toss again. He does get the lift onto Malrin, doesn't matter. The second that Delina is allowed to attack, it's just way too much damage on any of them. And Crit has been hunting, and he still has mana to, uh, to go for more. They also know where the Pango is. Lucky for uh, Mikey, a little bit too far away for the time being. Literally casually killing three heroes and, uh, and non stop farming along the way. This will allow a space for them to get a bit more Phoenix played. Yeah, he finds Mikey. He has the swap as well to stop the rolling thunder, but there is a roll up on Mikey. Understanding that he needs to have that shard if he wants to live. And uh, he does get himself away, but without the rolling thunder, there's absolutely no chances to win a fight. There's probably no chances to win a fight anyways, but without that spell, you are just crippled. One little bench forcing out probably the most important skill on the on the whole winter bear side they're gonna spot lina is coming so windrun he is run like the wind you're gonna win when pigs fly and yeah very close to it though he does uh, run himself away with the piggy pole will be fine for now Dyer's bottom tower is under attack R uses the spear to hit the uh, to hit the ward once. At least you know it's there, so once the venge comes over, you will be able to uh, finally take down Amar. He's calling for it. Nah, double spear to the ward the ward while his team is dealing with the tormentor, stealing everything from the enemies. Maybe the Rubik is not gonna be happening. Snaking gets himself a shard while losing a lot of his uh, HP. So well worth it and uh, nicely deserved. Fair trade. One minute on the ages left, so. He's gonna be getting the Dragonlance into Pike next. It'll be interesting if they try to go for a high ground without Aegis, 5v5, but I think they'll just continue hunting around the map and they'll go high ground. 
Ella like, having stalls, ooh. keeping the win place. Here comes Maureen, misses on the LSA. Still has the Aegis RC. It's fine. Swatch buffer got him very, very low. Now they're gonna be finding the Pango. What was stolen? It's gonna be the tree toss, the worst possible spell. And you're gonna give it back. You can't lift trees, Rubik. You are too scrawny and skinny. Skitter, he just destroys him. Avalanche onto the Phoenix, toss onto Maureen, fall off stun, and with the God's Rebuke and a couple of more hits, it's gonna be a problem. Amar has the Orchid, he's the one that bought it. Yeah, I mean, see, it's it's nice to see, you love to see it, like, players adapting, like, you rarely see the Orchid on, on heroes such as Mars, but Amar just understanding the position of the game with it. He's allowed to do it, and, like, catching people outside of the base is gonna be the name of the game, and with so much advantage the orchid just works so nicely reality has a bkb though so finally the wind ranger has something the problem is he is sixth on the network chart so the worst out of all the cores i i'm having a very hard time seeing this wind ranger actually threatening somebody's life but you tell me do you do you have enough damage to actually do something with the uh, with the position one wind at this moment i mean you 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 can kill like uh to revenge or tiny but they really need to get out of position because like don't forget like this lena will kill you in your bkb win run if you stay in place crit in a perfect position yeah beautifully he just breaks the smoke blinks himself away they have that ward on the left so they probably won't even find the vision that crit had we'll play some vision onto the high ground falcons are already out I mean, it's it, it's it's really hard to turn a game around versus Falcons. They they've been ahead in so many games so far that they just know how to play this segment perfectly. Like like long time ago, Malin and Amar would, would would be more eager to throw these kind of games, but now they're, they're showing like immense discipline. Fritz gonna spot the reality. And he's waiting for somebody to come over. The Lina is close. Going. Has bots, Gets however, canceled. is coming over. Yeah, we'll stop it. That should help. Okay, so Although they're he... living. Yeah, they're living, but uh, with every moment the network is lead is growing and the, the rush is coming very soon. And it's just a problem with this Wind Ranger and BKB that, yeah, it. it can allow you to to survive and do damage but there's so many instant disables on the side of, of falcons that you slip for a moment you, you'll just die uh, rubik and a problem on the uh, bottom lane mars finds him yeah got silenced actually he won't be stealing the bulwark rubik let's see if that's gonna be protecting him has the bull whip to slow down amar turns around this is how you use a shield offensively not defensively and reality gets taken down even with the bkb and the wind run it doesn't matter maureen is just doing way too much in terms of damage skitter they allow him to get this one just allow the king to feel good about himself that's gonna be 19k gold even i, I said they are living but they were actually surviving you know uh, that that's kind of a problem which our millennial generation is facing off right now we can uh, we can survive but live it out not really and we're seeing the uh the side of winter bear not leaving their base yes yeah, so they said they might wait for all but if they get some kills out of, outside of the base they will set them the high ground and for 10 seconds they have not, no nothing to really care about they'll poke it and now Discipline, oh dear discipline, they are just gonna go heal with the Lina, tip it up with the raking, push out top and go for the rush wheel. They try on a winter bear for a Hail Mary smoke, of course they will. I I like it, you know. Like I if, mean, if they just sit that. in base, if, if they sit in base it's like a certain death, but oh look at this snake, you see? No, he's just taking the rune, he's not doing it on purpose. He did it on purpose. He's a TI winning captain. You have no idea what you're talking about. He broke their smoke. As uh, GZ coming forward, the sentry will be placed. That does break the smoke. Crit in a good position to bring himself out. Will get clipped, so can't do it, but has the bull whip to have the uh, movement speed. So Falcons, again, they foil the plans of their enemies. Kachal found. Science is there. He does get into the edge of the arena. Lotus does protect the doom for the time. He returns the 
as well. Now Rini is just doing way too much damage. Goes forward onto yes, Mikey. The Rolling Thunder might not be able to save you. And meanwhile, while we're looking at the Lina chasing down Mikey, what we're not seeing on our screen is an 18 plus scenario where this other side, Winter Bears, they're just being murdered. I mean, this, the advantage is way too big. And Marlene kind of. Trying to assert the dominance, you know, he could go for some other heroes, but with the DD and DK, he wanted to kill this Pango in the role. So, like, I'm so much stronger than you that I'm gonna kill you in the role. Uh, didn't manage to do it, but either way, he's looking really strong with a 12 0 score. Five, five assists, that's what was stolen for him. All of those kills belong to Malreen and very soon the Roche will be belonging to Falcons as well as he will be respawning in a minute. Can they kill it in 30 seconds? Should be able to, so there is a chance they get themselves a uh, HEs. Yeah, Snaking doing the most boring job of the world, checking the Roche with his body, I mean with the drums, blasts. Bay of Terror, I mean, Venge brings a lot to the Roche kill and the like, they kill it in 30 seconds with two heroes, what I think. That drawing? That, like, drawing uh, like... an EKG? Like, uh, heart beats? Uh, Vengeful Spirit gets out for now. Maybe the Observer was feeling for him. Yeah. And anyways, though... Uh, Milan, the more I, I'm casting with you, the more I hear how much you're not the biggest fan of the... Of the position that you play which is the position five crit no toss back roll up rolling thunder mikey should be out i mean position five sam has to do the has to do the digging you know it's tough the, the, the old sports item warding checking rushes it all comes to you so not the greatest but still still enjoyable especially that's why you buy midas that's why you buy midas that is the uh, solution. Which blade on the Lina? Even more damage now for Malreen. His attacks are going to be flying Radiant's even faster towards the enemies okay. while there will be a Bloodthorn. Mikey has been caught. No roll up. No roll up. It has the Lotus Orb to protect him from the uh, silence. He does, didn't get the Lotus Orb off. And just, Amar just waited for a perfect opportunity to use both together. Skitter, of course, executing him there with a the Mortal Strike and the rest. Of Winter Bear, the only thing they can do is what they've been doing this entirety of the game, just fall back. Reality? Let's see you. Bye bye. Avalanche toss. Slow combo. Oh, bad communication. Is it? Is he gonna die still? It doesn't matter. We communicate badly, but we kill really well. A lot of misses either way there. <laughs> His MKB is not working. He got it way too early. He'll get the kill in the end. Still has the Aegis. It's, it's not gonna be a problem now. Phoenix comes over. Stoic, one more hit. You don't want to egg. Because he's gonna die either way. The thing is, he hasn't been wanting to egg for a very long time. And Malreen, one hit for each career just to bring it down. The, the MKB got broken over time of overuse. He bought it in the middle of the, If someone didn't watch this game, it was a minute 12. MKB, it's like it's. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, they try, but. What can you do? Is it time? Is do? it time to write those two letters in the chat? I mean, fight till the end is a is a nice habit and attitude to have, but. I, I fear that end is coming Dyer's very soon. The end is near, and, uh, well, we can sing it, but the side of Winter Bear after this game 2, they're not going to be singing. Falcons definitely showing how good of a team they are and wanting to approve that game 1 was a fluke shackle shot. Nice dodge there from Crit, just going to the other side so they don't get caught. Silence and Jeezy, Lotus Orb from Mikey to protect him, and we will see a pause. They uh, they need some time. We're seeing Amar is pretty mad. He wants this game to end. You, how do you keep a more disciplined Milan? Somebody on Falcons has uh, has had great influence on him. With a stick. Okay, okay, so that's the uh, that's the best so, way. That, yeah, yeah, just buy magic stick in a lane because he plays a lot of Mars and heroes that uh, that spam a lot of spells, so you can play against the, the jokes. I mean, Amar, like, yeah, maybe like in start of the creeper or OG days, he was like 
very say so angry, but right now, right now. Oh, but his anger spear through the hearts of the enemies, two of them. I don't yes, want to make exactly. Amar angry. He, he, he's he has found a different way to channel his anger here by uh, completely annihilating the opponents. Perfection. That perfection. Yeah. More there. Connects onto the pango. Takes so much damage. The shackle shot is gonna be cool, but you just don't have the items, the capability to fight. Pango is still alive. He will die to the mage slayer overtime damage, and it is gonna be it here for uh, game two. Very easy victory for Falcons. After what happened in game one, I was ready for another nail biting series. This was. Pretty much opposite from that. Falcons from start to finish, no chance, giving absolutely no chance to their opponents.